Uh, okay, I, I guess I can stand the screw-ups, but I can't stand myself without a shirt, and I can't stand the position of the cameras. What I just had an okay, but uh, I don't know about this. So it's going to work. But anyway, the other thing, basically I want to start out, but that's the basic purpose of it. It's just the what to, you know, why, why we don't have the American dream, what's wrong with the media, and what's wrong with the government, and what needs to be done that the media isn't telling us. We can do the corporate takeover of the media. And uh, a good, what I want to start with is um, David Steinberg was on a while back, and he was saying basically he thought the media was a lot more free now. And what you can say on the media is increasing. We got Jimmy Kimmel with his um, um, unnecessary censorship and stuff like that. I mean, which you couldn't do. I mean, back when Steinberg was on, he couldn't talk about grabbing the old something by the Old Testament, somebody by the Old Testament, or something like that. You know, and Nixon would find him, or he Nixon used the FCC to find the Smothers Brothers when they didn't get the tape through in time and the CBS fired them because they were like 18th in the ratings, 18 out of 20, they weren't high enough to um, you know make much money for CBS so they got rid of them they, and fired them but back then it, but everyone knew who Nixon was, everyone knew who the FCC was there was no subliminal messages coming through the major media, you know, a corporate um, corporate politics and things like that, like you see now with Big Brother and so on. Big Brother and Amazing Race and the, what's the other one? Um, Survivor. Where you've got pre corporate politics, you have a subliminal effect with anti-individuality. And but so, you know, they're trying to create a bunch of conformists. So basically, you know, mind control, what I think to a degree, and they have had some success with that, where uh, they can shove anything down your throat they want to, and uh, when you're in a corporation, you're not going to do anything about it because they're saying I you're not going to be an individual or individual thinkers. And so, but back then you didn't have that. You didn't have that kind of thing. I mean, everybody knew who they were. Everybody knew who Nixon was. Everybody knew about the Smothers Brothers, and they knew that you know Nixon didn't like the fact that the Jewish race was taking over the media, and. Uh, and he didn't like the messages they were given, but people were more aware of it. And back then, you had, you had several roadblocks to the First Amendment. You know, I mean, you couldn't say pregnant on TV and stuff like that, but there were several roadblocks. I mean, you had the CEOs of the companies. They were all freestanding companies, independently owned. And the CEOs, um, basically, a lot of them had been journalists. And they were uh, they were balanced things. They balanced their wallet with the right to the First Amendment, but and so and it's a lot of times, especially back in the 80s, when you had a whole lot of uh, freedom with the media, uh, they would uh, they would say things like they'd bring down Food Lion and they'd get sued and they'd pay the lawsuit and go right back. Now with the corp the, with the conglomerates owning the media, they won't um, they can't say anything. I mean, you had basically when you had to take over by the two major networks, the two remaining ones that were independently owned, which is ABC and C and CBS, uh, ABC was taken over by Michael Eisner and Disney, and then CBS was taken over by Westinghouse. And you had they had they had the yucca plant and everything else about ready to bring down the tobacco companies, and they had to apologize that same week to the tobacco companies, and then you know they, everything was censored after that. And let's see, let's see, let's stop a second.